I give a chance to the Honorable Lilian Gogo, member for Rangwe. I thank you so much, uh, my sister, the Honorable uh, Speaker that is uh, sitting. Thank you so much. Uh, there was an emergency, and thank you for giving us an opportunity to go and handle it. I really appreciate you. And I want to thank my brother who has brought up this uh, particular motion that has been duly debated. It's a very good idea. And I also want to say, Honorable Speaker, that moving forward as a country, we must rely on technology. And technology is what is being practiced. We have science, and then we have technology. Science generates scientific ideas as a matter of what goes on and the thought process. But when it comes to technology is what will benefit this country, the implementation of scientific systems and processes. And when uh, uh, my brother and senior proposes that we have our natural ecosystems, the data systems, information technology appreciated in climatic change prediction and also climatic change practice so that we can have an accurate data systems that will be reliable to the country. Honorable Speaker, I rise to support. And I also rise to support Honorable Speaker because if we have anything that we do as a nation pegged on law, pegged on proper legislation, pegged on proper policy, Honorable Speaker, it is a plus for the nation. So we want to have a system that is satellite based so that we don't make mistakes, so that our departments that predict the weather, the seasons, the happenings of nature, do not miss it. One of the members had earlier talked about AI, and AI is what is currently going on, Honorable Speaker, and this is the chair of ICT. He knows what he was talking about, Honorable Speaker, and we must go together with the rest of the world in the things that we do, Honorable Speaker. So when uh, Mashimura proposes that we have these ones housed in our own satellite systems, we would do that, but also house it in friendly satellite systems so that if we were to have only that has a problem with our system, then we don't lose our da data in its, its entirety, in its fullness. And we have backup systems, but we also want accuracy. Honorable Speaker, we want efficiency and efficacy. That whatever we are going to do, Honorable Speaker, it is time bound, and apart from being time bound, it is a deliverable. And it is a deliverable to who, Honorable Speaker? It is very unfortunate that many times, Honorable Speaker, we come here and speak big English. We look learned as members. Of course, I know there are members here who are very learned, Honorable Speaker, and they are, very, they are, they are serious people in their areas of discipline. But when I came to talk about efficacy, Honorable Speaker, I want the things, the matters, the issues, the ideas, the policies, and the laws that we legislate on, on matters that affect the various disciplines, must eventually be practiced to benefit Wanchiko. They must be practiced to benefit Mama Mboga. They must be practiced to benefit the farmers who toil left, right, and center, honorable speaker, in this country. If it is rain, how much of it is coming? How much it, or is it going to be an excess of? And how much of dry spell are we going to have? How much of milk glut are we going to have, Honorable Speaker? And if we are to do avocados, I ask our care people to leave our, our avocados farmers alone uh, so that they can just get their basic income. Uh, they, they just leave. But on this, Honorable Speaker, I want to appreciate that we should have systems the way has been proposed in this bill by my brother. We have systems that are reliable. We want reliability. 
We also want accountability here that when we predict weather changes, when we predict climatic changes on the basis of scientific data, there is accuracy and there is also repeatability. We want repeatability that when somebody else tests what we have done, they are able to get results, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I rise to support this particular motion on the basis that when we go this way, our young people who are outside there who are depending on such data may use this data well, Honorable Speaker, so that they can also unless the ideas. Many, many young people want to get into farming. Many, many people, Honorable Speaker, want, and they even have very ideas. They just, very good ideas, Honorable Speaker. They just need data. So, as I give my contribution on this matter, Honorable Speaker, and edge out or air out the ideas of the great people of Rangwe constituency, I know this will benefit them as well. Before this particular motion, Honorable Speaker, we were talking about cotton. And cotton has its wrong time, Honorable Speaker, for rain. And then it also has its wrong time, Honorable Speaker, for a dry spell, so that it can sprout, sprout out. And when it sprouts out, all the beauty of cotton. And I want to thank my governor, the Honorable Gladys Nyasuna Wanga, for coming up with this idea, Honorable Speaker. So when we have reliable data, as Homa Bay County, when we have re reliable uh, predictions on climate and climatic changes as a county, Honorable Speaker, I should think, Honorable Speaker, that we are going to do well and we are going to meet our very big objective of doing oil processing and planting and producing oil crop and also cotton as a crop. Not only for local use, Honorable Speaker, but that the cotton farmers and also people who are going to grow sunflower, as has been proposed in my own country, in my own county, Honorable Speaker, can go ahead and earn a living and get the excess to export Honorable Speaker so that they can get extra income from export. But apart from that, it would also be pre predictable, Honorable Speaker. It is going to be predictable on how to add value and when to add value. All these, Honorable Speaker, still just calm down. They still just add up to effects of the climate and also climatic change. And this is what is being proposed by this particular motion, Honorable Speaker, that it be done in a way that it is going to favor. We are going to work on ordered systems, ordered scientific systems. We are going to work on already established value systems, Honorable Speaker. We are going to work on what is traceable. We are looking at traceability here, Honorable Speaker. We are going to work on moving forward with new technology, as has been proposed, AI, so that the machines we use, Honorable Speaker. And on this, Honorable Speaker, I am proposing that we also move with our technology. Because when we let the machines think like human beings, Honorable Speaker, it is going to be in the best interest of this country, in the best interest of the users of what has been proposed, and it is going to be in the best interest of empowering our people. And this, Honorable Speaker, is real empowerment. Thank you for your time. Thank you for giving me this time, Honorable Speaker, and I appreciate Parliament.